Johnson Nyquist noise is the electronic noise generated by the thermal agitation of the charge carriers inside an electrical conductor at equilibrium, which happens regardless of any applied voltage. The generic statistical physical derivation of this noise is called the fluctuation dissipation theorem, where generalized impedance or generalized susceptibility is used to characterize the medium. Thermal noise in an ideal resistor is approximately white, meaning that the power spectral density is nearly constant throughout the frequency spectrum. When limited to a finite bandwidth, thermal noise has a nearly Gaussian amplitude distribution. History This type of noise was first measured by John B. Johnson at Bell Labs in 1926. He described his findings to Harry Nyquist, also at Bell Labs, who was able to explain the results. Noise voltage and power. Thermal noise is distinct from shot noise, which consists of additional current fluctuations that occur when a voltage is applied and a macroscopic current starts to flow. For the general case, the above definition applies to charge carriers in any type of conducting medium, not just resistors. It can be modeled by a voltage source representing the noise of the non-ideal resistor in series with an ideal noise-free resistor. The one-sided power spectral density or voltage variance per hertz of bandwidth is given by where Kb is Boltzmann's constant in joules per Kelvin. T is the resistor's absolute temperature in Kelvin, and R is the resistor value in ohms. Use this equation for quick calculation at room temperature. For example, a 1 kilo ohm resistor at a temperature of 300 K has for a given bandwidth. The root mean square of the voltage is given by where delta F is the bandwidth in hertz over which the noise is measured. For a 1 kilo ohm resistor at room temperature and a 10 kilohertz bandwidth, the RMS noise voltage is 400 nanovolts. A useful rule of thumb to remember is that 50 ohms at 1 Hz bandwidth correspond to 1 nanovolt noise at room temperature. A resistor in a short circuit dissipates a noise power of the noise generated at the resistor can transfer to the remaining circuit. The maximum noise power transfer happens with impedance matching when the Tevin in equivalent resistance of the remaining circuit is equal to the noise generating resistance. In this case each one of the two participating resistors dissipates noise in both itself and in the other resistor, since only half of the source voltage drops across any one of these resistors. The resulting noise power is given by where P is the thermal noise power in watts. Notice that this is independent of the noise generating resistance. Noise current the noise source can also be modeled by a current source in parallel with the resistor by taking the Norton equivalent that corresponds simply to divide by R. This gives the root mean square value of the current sources. Thermal noise is intrinsic to all resistors and is not a sign of poor design or manufacture, although resistors may also have excess noise. Noise power in decibels Signal power is often measured in dBm. From the equation above, news power in a resistor at room temperature in dBm is then where the factor of 1000 is present because the power is given in milliwatts rather than watts. This equation can be simplified by separating the constant parts from the bandwidth, which is more commonly seen approximated for room temperature as where is given in HZ, e.g., for a noise bandwidth of 40 MHz, is 40 million. Using this equation, noise power for different bandwidths is simple to calculate. Thermal noise on capacitors. Thermal noise on capacitors is referred to as KTC noise. Thermal noise in an RC circuit has an unusually simple expression, as the value of the resistance drops out of the equation. This is because higher R contributes to more filtering as well as to more noise. The noise bandwidth of the RC circuit is 1, which can substitute it into the above formula to eliminate R, the mean square and RMS noise voltage generated in such a filter R. Thermal noise in the resistor accounts for 100% of KTC noise. 
In the extreme case of the reset noise left on a capacitor by opening an ideal switch, the resistance is infinite. Yet the formula still applies, however, now the RMS must be interpreted not as a time average but as an average over many such reset events. Since the voltage is constant when the bandwidth is zero, in this sense, the Johnson noise of an RC circuit can be seen to be inherent, an effect of the thermodynamic distribution of the number of electrons on the capacitor. Even without the involvement of a resistor, the noise is not caused by the capacitor itself, but by the thermodynamic equilibrium of the amount of charge on the capacitor. Once the capacitor is disconnected from a conducting circuit, the thermodynamic fluctuation is frozen at a random value with standard deviation as given above. The reset noise of capacitive sensors is often a limiting noise source, for example in image sensors. As an alternative to the voltage noise, the reset noise on the capacitor can also be quantified as the electrical charge standard deviation. As since the charge variances, this noise is often called KTC noise. Any system in thermal equilibrium has state variables with a mean energy of kT, 2 per degree of freedom. Using the formula for energy on a capacitor, mean noise energy on a capacitor can be seen to also be 1 half C, or also kT, 2. Thermal noise on a capacitor can be derived from this relationship, without consideration of resistance. The kTc noise is the dominant noise source at small capacitors. Generalized forms. The voltage noise described above is a special case for a purely resistive component for low frequencies. In general, the thermal electrical noise continues to be related to resistive response in many more generalized electrical cases. As a consequence of the fluctuation dissipation theorem, below a variety of generalizations are noted. All of these generalizations share a common limitation, that they only apply in cases where the electrical component under consideration is purely passive and linear. Reactive impedance as Nyquist's original paper also provided the generalized noise for components having partly reactive response, e.g., sources that contain capacitors or inductors. Such a component can be described by a frequency-dependent complex electrical impedance. The formula for the power spectral density of the series noise voltage is the function is simply equal to 1 except at very high frequencies. The real part of impedance is in general frequency-dependent and so the Johnson-Nyquist noise is not white noise. The RMS noise voltage over a span of frequencies to can be found by integration of the power spectral density. Alternatively, a parallel noise current can be used to describe Johnson noise. Its power spectral density being where is the electrical admittance. Note that quantum effects at high frequencies Nyquist also pointed out that quantum effects analogous to Planck's law occur for very high frequencies. The function is in general given by where is Planck's constant. At very high frequencies, the function starts to exponentially decrease to zero. At room temperature, this transition occurs in the terahertz, far beyond the capabilities of conventional electronics, and so it is valid to set for conventional electronics work. Multiport electrical networks Richard Q. Twiss extended Nyquist's formulas to multiport passive electrical networks, including non-reciprocal devices such as circulators and isolators. Thermal noise appears at every port and can be described as random series voltage sources in series with each port. The random voltages at different ports may be correlated, and their amplitudes and correlations are fully described by a set of cross-spectral density functions relating the different noise voltages, where the are the elements of the impedance matrix. Again, an alternative description of the noise is instead in terms of parallel current sources applied at each port. Their cross-spectral density is given by where is the admittance matrix. Continuous electrodynamic media The full generalization of Nyquist noise is found in fluctuation electrodynamics which describes the noise current density inside continuous media with dissipative response in a continuous response function such as dielectric. 
permittivity or magnetic permeability.